funny story. Um, there was a massive area-wide power outage this morning that spanned like, I think it was about 300 square kilometers or a thousand square kilometers. It was huge, but um, caused me a very, very long work day. So I get home, make supper, I crack a drink, sit down, start recording. It isn't until I'm done recording that I look over and say, oh, my mic wasn't on because when the power went out, it reset my mic default. So here we are again, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It is Wednesday night. The patch notes are up. The patch goes live tomorrow. Keep in mind that this is a mid cycle patch and it is week two of week four in the collab event as such. It's not gonna be too meaty. It's gonna be pretty standard, uh, but um, we will go over it. We will discuss it so that you can get my take on the whole patch. So let's zip on over and here we are. Okay, magic. So, a um, thousand diamonds, but I guess I gotta do the obligatory blah, 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 donkey punch, blah, blah, thousand diamonds. Thank you. Okay, thousand diamonds isn't enough. Isn't enough. You gotta, you gotta at least 10,000. Come on, man. Make it, make it juicy. Make it worthwhile. So, what are we getting? What's going on tomorrow when we wake up? So, first of all, this is gonna be the probably the biggest part of the patch, is that they optimize the x talents and if you don't know what the x talents are that's the extra levels on your talent tree after you've added more levels to immortal so immortal one two three four five right those are the x talents um but these are specifically geared towards healers so including miranda purin uh fiona masrani bada sorvali who is technically not a support but she, i guess she is technically a healer and then serena and loran now, this makes sense, and I'm surprised it took them so long, because if you think the first or the left side row of the talent tree is basically uh, PvP attack bonuses, how much does that benefit support healers? It, it doesn't. So it makes sense that they would actually um, have those, uh, those upper level talent trees actually do something a little bit more meaningful for healers. So what is the change they're making? Uh, let's just drag all that. So X one, two, or one, three, and four is uh, for PVP. Uh, all the PVP modes increases your and summon creatures healing to allies by five percent, and also increases the volume of the shield by the same amount. So the shield is is specifically for uh, Miranda because she pops up the shield. It's also for Masrani. If we forget, Masrani does shield the back row units. So the, it's going to increase your shielding. But keep in mind, it is only for healers. So that doesn't include shielding like Zeta. That doesn't include shielding like, you know, when your assassins get shielding. None of that gets bumped up. It is only the shielding that is granted to you by these heroes, the, the support healers. And they're all support except for Maz or for Sorvali. And I think Sorvali is going to be the one that benefits the most from this. Because she's going to be the one that's going to be paired with your summoners, right? Like, you're not going to put Miranda with your summoners. But it's 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 interesting that they're setting it up so that all can do that. I don't know if that's just lazy because they didn't want to tweak it per summoner. Which they could have. They could, they could definitely make talent trees a little bit more um, hero specific. But if... If by having Sorvali on your summoner team, if it increases the healing by 5%, and keep in mind, that's 5, 10, 15, and then you can double it if you have a Immortal 5, which my Sorvali is, so that's that's an increase of 30% healing. That's actually quite significant on uh, a summoner team. And also, it reads, increase your and summoned creatures healing now if you remember if you have ring of greed i don't know if this interaction is going to work as it thinks as i think it does in my head but when ring of greed gives healing i don't think it's going to work because ring of greed gives healing based on the summons death we're gonna have to see otherwise i don't know why it would matter why this summoned creatures healing matters if that interaction doesn't work but anyway 30% extra healing if you got a hero maxed out. Modified the X2 talent to be, and this is the within 30 seconds of battle or within the last 30 seconds of battle, blah, blah, blah. Within 30 seconds after the start of battle. So basically after 30 seconds into the battle, increase your summon creatures healing by 
and also increases the volume of the shield by the same amount. So that's two, but that's pretty much a lot like this. And then the fifth one is talents. Yeah, double, basically double. So a lot of extra healing, uh, which is going to, I don't know how that's going to really affect the heroes live in game. Like my Masrani is only immortal two. My Sorvali is maxed. My Miranda is maxed. So cool. I guess my energy team got a little bit better. Or your hunter team, if you want to put Miranda with hunters. Now, I don't think that uh, Purin's heal really matters. Because uh, it, it, I guess it does. Some people do like her passive heal. They say it's significant. Other people say that her passive heal is, is not significant. But really, the only ones we use out of here is Miranda, Purin, Sorvali, Fiona, and Fiona. Masrani and Bada, they, we don't really use them anymore. So that's kind of unfortunate, but that's just true. So that's the, that's the bulk of what this uh, patch is going to bring to the game in terms of changes. Now, <clears throat> now new events. We're getting another wish list. So this, this confirms that the wish list banner, which is very, very good. I enjoy it. It confirms that the wishlist banner is coming every two weeks. And this one's a really, really good one. It's just really unfortunate that they sandwiched it. These heroes, it's, it's unfortunate they sandwiched it in a collab event because you really have to hoard and use all of your limited tickets on the collab banners because of the way that they've set them up. I'm not going to get into the specifics of that now. <laughs> But um, you guys know what I'm talking about. I've made enough videos flaming the uh, summoning banner for the collab event. But So I will be, because remember, you almost have to, or they're setting you up to almost have to pull 80 every wishlist banner, uh, because there's usually a giant tower, or there should always be a giant tower, and that's how you get your awakening crystals, is by summoning on every week, basically. You need to do, what, 80 pulls basically every week. I'm not saying you have to. It's just I'm pulling on this. And if you buy limited tickets, then you're probably going to want to pull 80 on this as well. Unless you just don't have the tickets, then yes, hoard for the last two collab heroes, even though they might not be any good. We'll see. But I have a feeling one of them will be good. So who is on this wishlist banner? It is Cariolis, Teresh, and Miranda. It has been 19 weeks since Miranda came back. It has been a long time. And I'm assuming that that is only because she is uh, available for cash money in the Hell Arena Battle Pass. Uh, the Elites, we don't really care about. Kalaza, Oak, Xander. Kalaza is the only one decent one in there for new players. If you are a new player, Oak and Xander, well, you're never going to use Xander. Oak, you might use if you are very, 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 very early in the game. Uh, and you guys know how these wish lists work. So it is you get a, a, a triple S every 60 guaranteed of your choosing. And there is an increased chance to pull one on every 30. So I'm probably going to pull 90 tickets. Also, I'm going to pull 90 because it's probably going to I need I, I do have to restock on chips because I'm a little bit low on chips. So cool. That's very, very cool. It's just unfortunate that such a good wish list is crammed where it's crammed. And that's seven days now. Giant Tower is coming with it. So it is going to be an actually Cariolis Giant Tower, which is kind of annoying because that means that uh, two weeks ago when we got the Dan Giant Tower, we got totally cheated out of uh, what would have been Arcadia. I think it was Arcadia. We were completely cheated out of uh, Arcadia copies because uh, she wasn't in the giant tower. But I guess it doesn't matter anymore, right? Because we're we're not going to actually grab the hero from the giant tower. We're just going to be grabbing the da the uh, soul nucleus, Daniel, specifically for this one. So one thing I have to make very, very clear to you guys, I have to, like, take heed. When you... Um, you cannot, you cannot pull on the collab banner to progress the giant tower. It will waste, you will not get any giant tower tickets. You can only get giant tower currency from pulling on the wishlist banner. Now, if you pull on the collab banner, that will go, go towards hero rally. And if you pull on the giant tower, that will go towards hero rally. But the collab stands on its own in terms of giant tower. So very, very important. I had to say that because a lot of people got burned the last collab event on giant towers. Seven days. 
Uh, and yeah, Cariolis and Daniel's Soul Crystal, which is what I will be grabbing. Quantum Mimic is coming out. Um, again, another caveat. You can hoard your Quantum Mimic currency. I have I am up to 67. And since this is Ampu and Dominant Nucleus, I have my Ampu at Immortal 5. He is maxed. And my Dominant Nucleus is level 6. It is maxed. So I will be hoarding more currency. In fact, there's, I think... The only prototype that I don't have that is maxed is the crossbow, which will likely make its first appearance next month in Twilight Lands as the top five reward. So I don't know. I'm starting to get to the point now where I guess I'll just pull when I get a good hero because <clears throat> the, uh, the, the uh, prototype doesn't really affect me anymore, which is odd. You know, another thing that I have outpaced the game on. Hero Rally, as we discussed, collab summons do contribute towards Hero Rally. Giant Tower summons also contribute towards Hero Rally. I should say, wish list summons also contribute towards Hero Rally. And Hero, <coughs> Hero Rallies, I'm losing my voice. Hero Rallies are uh, important because that's where we get our dust for the Awakening. Can anyone tell me what's in this koozie? You probably can't because it's a Canadian thing. Anyway, so that's, yeah, uh, Galactic Bounty will open on some servers. The main rewards of this event are changed to Luke copies. I've kind of uh, given up on guessing what event this is because they all start with Galactic. It's like Galactic Chase, Galactic Bounty, Galactic Harvest, Galactic Snooze Fest. Uh, but uh, what's really unfortunate, I'm sorry guys, I don't know what they're thinking. The main reward is Luke copies. Okay, why is that unfortunate? Because, first of all, Luke used to be a week one hero that you never went for. Uh, he used to be in the Grand Carnival or whatever it's called in the week one for new players. Uh, and at one time, he was really, really, really good. The thing is now is that he is probably one of the worst Triple S energy heroes after Natalus and Enruta. Um, you have so many better options. You have Cariolus, Nord, Jaina, um, and then you have uh, Sinjin. Sinji. I, keep, I know I screwed that up. Sinji is much, much better than Luke. I don't think that this would even benefit new players, being able to get a copy of Luke, because you're not going to use your genes on building him up. And there's no events that you're going to need Luke in, even though there is the sporadic event where he can use them, be used in. But I think that... He's just been replaced by Sinji altogether. So this is like a, a, a useless reward, not just for endgame players, but also for brand new players. Don't worry about this too much. Get a copy, you know, just for your collection, but you're, you're never going to level them up anymore. 11 day event. All right. A new season of Summon Arena is opening on the 16th. So the patch tomorrow is the 14th. Uh, you can sign up. You know how that is. There's a really big sign-up phase and blah, 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 blah. Now, this is the last time they'll probably refer to this as Summit Arena. Because Summit Arena is getting a facelift. Yep. Optimize the Summit Arena. So, let's just highlight that. After the Summit Arena has opened on a server twice. So, once you've been through it twice. It's going to become the Ascension Arena. Ascension. They're going to A-Words. Awakening, Ascension, Asshole Mia. I don't know, disregard that. Different from Summon Arena, players participating in the Ascension Arena will face five teams versus five teams. This is the current uh, paradigm for the Hell Arena in the Hell Fighter. They did add five teams. I don't, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. It's... I have five teams, but it's, it's, it's a little bit of a pain in the butt. I'm not gonna lie, but at least for Summon Arena, I'm not limited by the stupid special mechanics that I am limited to currently in the uh, Hellfighter Hell Arena this season. So that's that is kind of cool. I think it's gonna be cool. The only problem is is that the there's other issues with Summon Arena. So the the RNG nature once you reach the top 16 is gonna make this like it's like completely like coin flip like the when it was three versus three 
I could kind of go off of the history of a hero or, or of a, an opponent. I could like put something in the top to kind of bait him and then switch it and know that I would win in one battle and then I'd only have to win one out of the two that are hidden. It's now it's going to be just kind of pointless. It's just it's going to feel kind of pointless. And the devs, if you're watching this, I'll do it. Cool. But it shouldn't it shouldn't be like this. Because the the RNG is just it just makes it stupid. You got to you got to address that. Fix that, please. What I recommend is that it is I know you want us to use five teams, but what I think you should do is you should have to lock in because we have a defense lock for Summon Arena in the top 16, but that defensive team is also the team that fights on offense. And we still have an offensive lineup mechanism. What you should do once you hit Summon Arena, like the top 16, is you can only use two teams on defense, and then you can't use those on offense. You have to have four teams. Four teams, not three, four. But the two you have on defense can't be used on offense. The ones you use on offense can't be used on defense. That would make it a lot more strategic. And a lot more interesting. Because like if I put my Korra team on defense, now what do I use to beat Tex? Well, I guess energy. But you get what I'm saying? Now it's like I really got to... It's a lot more strategic and it'd be a lot more cool. Versus just five versus five teams completely randomized. The Redemption Shop, so the Exchange Shop, will be shared between Summon Arena and Ascension Arena, which is fine. So I'll only see this Ascension Arena shop. And will be unified to update some of the trophies and heroes because... Uh, and I don't know why they say trophy. There's currently only one trophy in Summon Arena, and that is the... Uh, the Commander Purifying Trophy. But uh, maybe they're going to put some in here because... I was always wondering, the trophies that were in Hell Arena that were in Season 1 and 2... When are they going to come back around? Because I would sure like a chance to get that big trophy in season one that I missed out on. Uh, but they do have prototypes and heroes, so this might be this might not be trophies. This might actually be prototypes, as well as adding tempering material three, because I think you could get tempering material one. Adjusted the exchange details of tempering material two, so maybe it was two, and now they're adding three. So that's that's cool. Uh, these tempering material three. Mats are actually quite, they have quite a low drop rate. I just did my first third level today, actually. So, all right. Okay, cool. All right. So, Ascension Arena will have a new set of, ooh, what, ooh. We'll have a new set of independent settlement rewards to distinguish it from some arena. Well, we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see what that means. Because the rewards for Summon Arena in general, are also kind of crappy. Like, um, if you don't make it to the top 16, you basically get crap done. You don't, you don't get a whole lot of anything. The heroes in there are, are worth <coughs> worthless. <coughs> the prototypes that are in there are pretty much worthless. So, yeah. Uh, replace... Oh, here we go. Replace the Triple S Hero Selection cards, which only had... It was Masrani. Not Masrani. It was... Um, Moriyami, man, it's been a while since I said that name, and Rez, right? So you always, that's how people got your Moriyami. So they're going to replace this, uh, replace the Triple S Hero Selection card and shards in the original Summon Arena settlement with the same content as the Triple S Hero Selection cards and shards in the Ascension Arena settlement. Okay, so we don't know what that is yet, that new card, but hopefully it is something decent because the current card is kind of useless. Especially since Moriyami can be gotten now in um, uh, Endless Battle Ticket Shop. Uh, even though you don't really use Moriyami anymore, she's kind of been displaced. Which is unfortunate because I have her at uh, Hypervolved 120x30. Immortal 5. And then optimize the Awakening System, which uh, I thought it was already been touched on. So optimize... Oh, the display of Potential 5. Optimize the display style. Okay, alright, that's fine. Optimize the sorting rules of triple S plus heroes. Okay. This is all just seems like bug fixes to me. This is all just UI fixes. I wouldn't really call this optimizing the awakening system. This is just optimizing the UI. Added a beginner tutorial when unlocking. Okay. It's pretty straightforward. 
optimize the red dot display logic of the heroes systems. So they've been doing that forever. Um, the red dots still keep coming. So they're just tweaking it a little bit more. So that's it. TLDR, um, where you summon arena or ascension arena is now 5v5, which I guess kind of differentiates it from um, the normal arena in game, like Galactic Arena, which is 3 versus 3. And it kind of puts it on the same par as uh, Hell Arena. And then the healers are getting a, a touch up to their X talents, making them a little bit more healy. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. Not a whole lot. Nothing that you're really going to see that's very impactful when you start the game tomorrow. It's just more stuff, you know, tweaking stuff kind of in the periphery. And then, yeah, you know, the Summon Arena thing is I almost don't even want to mention it because only 16 people per server cluster make it, making it redundant for 98% of the population in the server cluster. So that's going to be it. That's all, ladies and gentlemen. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns uh, about this uh, upcoming patch tomorrow, please uh, do tell me your thoughts in the description of this video. No word of the day, because I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. Mexico. Because I got a Mexican fighting mask up there, and I'm not wearing it. <laughs> yeah, I look like a fool wearing that thing. Mexico. Well, well, that'll be the word of the day. So, thank you if you've made it this far into the video. Even though it's a short one, 21 minutes. I will catch you in the next one, ladies and gentlemen. Cheers, peace. Bye-bye.